Um, will you tell me your name and occupation? Yeah, I'm Sue Ann Gardner. I'm at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. I'm the scholarly communications librarian there. Uh, do you use the Biodiversity Heritage Library as part of your work? I haven't yet, but what I'm interested in is how we can um, call some of the materials that are on there and um, import them into our institutional repository. Um, we have a wide variety of things in our IR, and I'm sure there are some things in there that would be pertinent that we could just um, co-opt and put in our IR. And what made you decide to uh, attend the conference? Well, we're, we have a new venture at University of Nebraska-Lincoln called Zia eBooks, and it's a new imprint. And the purpose of it is to publish scholarly monographs that don't have commercial vi viability as such. So an author might go to a university press, and they might be turned away because of the lack of commercial viability of the project, but it has scholarly merit. And we're interested in publishing monographs in that that fall into that category. And the BHL is digitizing scientific material, and we're interested in also digitizing scientific material, so that's where the overlap is. What would you like to see improved, um, added, or changed about the Biodiversity Heritage Library um, in the future? I'm interested in its sustainability and its ongoing um, existence. I, I know how projects like this can get started, and sometimes um, there needs to be sustainable funding for it, or maybe um, staffing, or whatever else. I would love to see the Biodiversity Heritage Library backed by something permanent, and to see it really succeed and, and fulfill its mission, which is to um, collate all of the world's literature on specific taxons throughout history. Thank you very much. Sure.